Okay, so that's the solo from Another Brick in the Wall Part 2 by Pink Floyd by David Gilmore. So let's take the first part of this. So this is D minor pentatonic. So we got... So that's pull off 13 to 10 on the second string. And then 12 to 10, 12 on the G, back to the B string here. And then... So you're bending that 12 up. 10, 10. And you bend that 13 up and hold it, a little vibrato. So you got a couple, a couple of those chanks there, and then you got these tens, the second string and third string. So we got. And then. So that's a, a whole step bend, and then down, and then a two step bend. Back to that original note. So 13, basically bending to what sounds like the 15, and then bending to what sounds like the 17th fret. So let's try it off. So that's a pull off 13, 10, 12, bend the 12. And then we got a little rake when we kind of scrape, scrape across the strings like that. So we're going to do the 10 to 9 on the third string with the rake to the 12 and back, and then 10 to 12 to that 10. And you can do two 10s there, actually. So. You got a couple of those. So that's going to be those 12s on the same strings, the second and third strings, those 10s. Pulling off to those 10s with a little slight, slightly bent 10s at the end. And then we got a rake of these 10s here. We're going to bend that 13. So we had that two-step bend. We got to go another half step. And then bend to the normal one-step bend. So it's a one and down and two-step bend, and then another half step, and then up to a one-step bend. Down, back, and up to a one-step bend. So. And then we got... So let's look at that. So that's just your normal kind of 12 bend with the 10 and 10, pull off on the 13, 10. Now we're going to bend this one down. It's already up and we bend it down from upwards. So dee -da -doo -doo -da -doo. That's kind of a little chordal thing, so 12s pulling off the 10s in the middle strings, the third and fourth. So we got that little 10 to 12. So that's. And that ends with. 10, 8, 8, 10. And then we got this sliding up to the 7 of the D string. So that's 7, 5, 7, and then hammer on pull off to the 7, pull off to that other 7. So that was a tiny bend here, kind of a quarter step. Bending that 6 up. So we got... Then we got this 13 again, and then we got one of those again. So the, all the tabs kind of show this. He has these like little noises with open strings that he'll make on kind of on accident, but they sound really cool, so they keep them in and stuff. So they're saying it's an open string on this uh, open second string right before this bend on the 15th. 
It's real kind of quick, you know, it might have been an accident. So that's going to be the 13 to 15 after that bend. Then we're going to do this slide. Back to that little 13. A bunch of those. You end with a... So that's 15 going down from up to the 15 on the second string. So let's look at what we got so far. Bend this 18th fret, hit it again when it's up and, and give it some vibrato, and then the 20th. Let me pull off the 20 to the 17, do one of those jobs. 10 on the G string to the 12 on the D. Now this part's cool, it's like a slide from the 12 and 10 up to the 14 and 12. Hit that little 13 on the bottom of the second string. And that was a 12 on the D with a 12 on the B. And then we got these 12s on the second and third string sliding down to 10s. So let's look at all this high part. a pull off 12 to 10 a couple chicks and a hammer on back in with some vibrato so it's 12 to 10 8 10 on the same string and then 8 to the bigger 10 so let's look at all that one more time And he might have pulled that off without having to pick it again. I got to kind of pick it again and give it some juice to get up high. That would be without trying to pick it. See how it's so much, so much quieter? So I throw a little pick in there to make it a little louder for the end. And that way you don't really need to pick it again to get that last bend. And then we got this. Thanks for watching.